PU UK Infrastructure is the leading independent provider of last mile utility networks in the UK. The company provides traditional and next-generation utility infrastructure solutions in the area of heat, electricity, gas, water and wastewater and fibre to the home. Anegis is one of Europe's leading Microsoft partners, providing solutions which optimise and automate business processes. Anegis adapts the latest ID solutions to business needs and equips clients with powerful tools for data collection, processing, presentation and analysis. The long-standing cooperation between BUK and Anegis resulted in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 implementation project. The project started in November 2021 with the go live in July 2023. Well, there were two reasons. One was support on AX uh, was running out and we don't run on platforms that aren't supported by the vendor. Um, that's standard security. Uh, and the second reason is because we had a lot of features that were built into the old system uh, as bespoke software and we knew in D365 that came as a standard in the system and we wanted to take out some of that complexity and run with that as standard in the new systems because that will help simplify our systems and processes. So I think the key thing for us, we wanted to establish a good working relationship and rapport from the beginning. Um, having worked on a number of projects before, I know that's key to success. So we wanted a trusted partner somebody who we could work collaboratively with and somebody who we trusted to deliver. So they were some of the key things. I think it was very positive. We, um, we had a meeting on Teams like you often do the, in these days. Um, it was very reassuring. There was good sponsorship from the leadership at Anegis and we, we just felt reassured and uh, and felt like we'd, we'd got the makings of a good project if we uh, pursued, pursued the contract. So when we began the project, we looked at all of our finance and accounting processes from order to cash, procure to pay, record to report and financial planning and analysis, and looked to incorporate all of those in the scope of the implementation. So under those sort of four pillars of the finance and accounting value chain, we looked at implementing uh, the way in which we create uh, and approve purchase requisitions and subsequent creation of purchase orders. We looked at the way in which we manage our products for um, procuring products and services from vendors, uh, the way in which we invoice our customers uh, and how we then account for the expenditure and revenue um, associated with projects within our, within our organisation. We also looked at how we can capture details of our fixed assets and record any sort of depreciation or appreciation in value of those assets uh, and general sort of month end reporting uh, that allows the business to measure its performance uh, against budget. So I think that the business community are probably the best people to ask in that respect but as a general rule people have noticed uh, performance improvements. Um, we've been able to utilise, um, we've moved to the one model way of operation with, with the functionality which means previously different parts of our legal entities were working differently so we've standardised practices wherever practicable. Um, so we've got uh, processing efficiencies there, um, but it, generally performance has been what people have, have noticed. I think our support team like the fact that we get regular updates um, deployed uh, so that the cloud-based solution works well as well. On-premise wasn't without its challenges for us, but that was quite a change in our thinking as an organisation to go more cloud-based on, on, on products. Um, so we had some concerns initially around security, um, but we were able to address all those, again working closely with, um, with the team here um, at Anija.
um, and generally speaking the implementation was smooth. I think particularly the cutover weekend that we had and he just came over to support us. Um, so again we were working very collaboratively but also geographically close as well that time and that, that really helped, it reassured people at that go live weekend and in the immediate weeks afterwards that there were people there that could help them if they encountered something that they were unfamiliar with. Uh, absolutely we choose Energis again because we've had a long relationship with Energis going back 10 years. Uh, we've worked with them for a long time. They've always been absolutely professional. Um, they've always been very clear, uh, very honest, very straightforward. Uh, we find that relationship very healthy. Um, and um, we also use them for advice and we can trust that advice. Uh, absolutely. We see Aegis very much as part of our future going forward. So we're already looking at uh, potentially other initiatives of working together for, on other solutions. So for me, the working relationship was, it was about having that partnership.